Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video I have a what's kind of new in in my wardrobe. Um, it's kind of a combination of a lot of different kind of stores. So we have H&M, Zara, Topshop, Pixie Market, Arquette, Levi's, that's the front door. <laughs> so I thought that might be something exciting to add to the video but it was just Rafi's new dog bowl so yeah not very exciting. Um, so yeah we have a little bit here, got some and other stories as well and also got this yellow bag <laughs> um so we have a designer piece in there too so yeah let's just get on with the video so the first thing i want to talk about is the dress that i'm wearing so this is from and other stories i'll obviously pop a cutaway on the screen here um but it's this gorgeous kind of midi length dress you guys know i'm obsessed with jumper dresses at the moment like absolutely obsessed i don't know what it is um but it's just this beautiful kind of I think it's kind of like a taupey colour, taupe, taupe, I feel like it's taupe, not sure, <laughs> like a beigey kind of um, brown colour, has a beautiful like tie detailing at the side here which I think is just so nice and flattering because it's nice and comfy still but then obviously you can kind of cinch yourself in at the waist and then it goes into a bit of a cross over detailing down at the um, bottom, really flattering, this is so perfect for so many occasions, I think this could work so well for work, if you are back in the office or even if you're working from home I think this would be great because it's so comfy but it still makes you feel very put together so if you're having like zoom calls and stuff I think this would be such a great option. So I'm pretty sure there is a little bit of wool in it and I was a little bit worried about that because I'm really bad with wool, I find it really itchy but honestly it's like the softest, comfiest thing ever. I think there's only about 5-10% wool so I think that's why. So keeping on the and other stories kind of bandwagon, I picked up this cap. Um, so I picked this up because I am a little bit obsessed with wearing hats in the winter, whether that's like a beanie or a cap or a beret or a fedora, I just love hats. I think they save so many bad hair days especially at the moment because I really need to get my hair highlighted um, but I wear a lot of caps like I wear them quite casually with joggers and stuff and I just love them I think they make an outfit look really chic um, I have a lot of the new era caps with the New York Yankee sign on the front but I wanted something a little bit plainer so I saw this in and other stories um, it was a little bit more expensive it was £23 um, and I haven't even tried this on yet so let's see that's quite cool it's actually a little bit kind of flatter than the other caps that I own but I think that works quite nicely just covers up your roots doesn't it <laughs> I think that's really nice actually I'm really happy with that um, and I know I'll definitely be able to wear that with loads of outfits I just think yeah it's just a great one to chuck on if you're not really feeling like your best and you just want to sort of like you know cover up a bad hair day or whatever it is so yeah I love that so the next brand that I want to talk about is a brand called Pixie Market um, so Pixie Market is a brand that I've seen quite a lot on Instagram, I've seen like some of my favourite bloggers wearing and stuff but I've never shopped there myself so I thought I would give it a try, just you know, see what it's like. Um, the prices are quite expensive, I'd say it's kind of like and other stories prices but maybe like a little bit more on top of that, maybe like 10, 20, 30 pounds more, um, I think if I remember rightly. Um, but anyway, so I picked up a few bits, I've not tried them on yet so in the cutaway that's going to be the first time of me trying them on. First impressions, I'd say they look really well made, these trousers, they're not see-through at all, the material's lovely and soft, and yeah, just really nice, kind of beautiful, kind of tailored piece. So if I go in a little bit closer, you can see that they are like this gorgeous kind of beige colour, shock, um, but like a light kind of creamy beige, um, and yeah, they are a cigarette style, so they have the waistband there with the belt loops, and they have a little... Um, hook and eye kind of clasp there and then they also have a button on the inside as well just keep them nice and secure um, and then they go down into a narrow leg so you have as I said the cigarette style and they have a pleated detail at the top and then if we turn them around they have two pockets on the back there um, and they also have pockets on the front too so I bought these in a size medium I was just imagining styling these with like maybe like a cream jumper and some converse like to make it like quite casual but I also think these will look so nice like dressed up maybe with like a white blouse and some heels I think there's loads of ways to wear these so maybe also with like a black roll neck like a tight black roll neck and a black blazer and some black boots with these I don't know I'm gonna try and sort of play around and see how we get on but yeah so far I'm really impressed with the quality and everything and we'll see what they look like when I actually try them on so I'm going to stay on the Pixie Market um, store for now. So the next thing that I picked up was this top and I have actually worn this. So 
there is a little bit of makeup on it which is the only problem with tops like this um but it's this gorgeous kind of bustier style top and it's in this really really thick rib i don't know how well you can kind of see that but honestly it's really kind of thick um really really good quality again i love the shape of this neck i just think that's so so flattering um, and then it goes down it's like quite quite like figure hugging um, and the sleeves are flared which i think is a really really nice touch um, and just makes it look that little bit more kind of like i don't know just a little bit extra um a little bit more kind of chic i think this would look so so nice paired with like some mom jeans for example like these tucked in but i also think it would work really well with these as well like as i said if you wanted to kind of dress it up and wear with heels um, it's definitely more of a dressy top i would say um, rather than a casual one but it's a really nice one it's so so well made it's incredibly thick um, but yeah the only downside is it's very easy to get makeup onto I don't know why because makeup seems to just stick to this like kind of thick rib but yeah it's a gorgeous piece and um, yeah as I said I've already worn this out on an evening and it looks so so nice and um, you have to wear kind of a strapless bra because these straps are quite wide but it's a really flattering neckline and yeah you guys will have seen from the cutaway how it looks but yeah I'm really impressed with that actually Next up from Pixie Market is a jumper that I've not worn yet, um, but it's this beautiful kind of v-neck jumper with these big voluminous sleeves, as you can see, that go into a very tight kind of rib um, cuff detail. Um, it's quite like, it's not a relatively low v-neck, it's quite a high v-neck actually. Beautiful cream colour, and then the kind of reason that I decided to give this a go was the back detail. So as you can see, the back is like cut out, so it's kind of cropped. So you can still wear a bra and everything like that, but then it has this kind of like, I don't know what you call that, like strap detail that you can tighten, um, and then you have a bit of your back out, which I think is quite nice. Um, just like in the autumn winter, obviously you don't get a lot of skin out, so quite nice to just show off a little bit of back, and I think this would be so, so gorgeous on a night out, again, because you do have that kind of feature that makes it like a little bit sexy, but also it would work really well casually too, like if you just paired it with, again, a pair of jeans, which I'm gonna talk about in a sec, or again, it would look really nice with these. <laughs> it's really cool. It's a little bit different to anything else that I own. And I just thought it was a nice kind of feature piece. I also think it would look really nice with a white shirt paired underneath it because you'd, you'd see like the white shirt at the back, which I think would be nice. And obviously you could put the collar over the V-neck and then wear it with like some leather leggings and boots or something. So yeah, I thought that was a nice one. A little bit different to add to my wardrobe. So next up, let's talk about the jeans that I <laughs> kept picking up. So these are Levi's. Um, I'm obsessed with Levi's, I love them, I just think they are definitely like the best out there that you can buy. Um, they are a little bit more expensive but you can check like often they have um, discounts, also I think they give students like 20% off. Um, so yeah, there are definitely ways that you can get them a little bit cheaper. So I actually picked these up on Amazon, so I didn't realise but apparently you can get Levi jeans on Amazon. Um, and the reason I got these on Amazon is because they didn't have the size that I wanted on the Levi website, so I'll try and link both down below. Um, but these are the 501 crop style, I believe. Does it say that anywhere? I don't think it does, but I'm pretty sure it's the 501 crop style. So anyway, I already own a pair of these, which I've had for about two years, and I wear them all the time. But the pair that I own are quite tight, um, whereas these I decided to size up in because I really wanted a more kind of slouchy pair. I wanted a pair that I could wear a little bit lower down and they were also a little bit longer. So for example, when I'm wearing heels and stuff, it looks really nice, you know, when you, the jean kind of just skims over the top of the heel. Um, so, yeah, if I go in a little bit closer and show you that this beautiful kind of light blue wash denim. And I still wear this colour in the autumn winter. I think it looks great with black, creams, sort of every kind of colour that I wear. So, I was quite happy to buy it in this colour. Obviously, it has the standard Levi detailing on it. And, yeah, it just goes down into a straight leg. Um, I actually wore this the other day with a black um, top, a black blazer and some heels. It looked really cool, I thought, just quite like effortless because um, these are quite like a slouchy style. They are incredibly soft as well. They're not stiff denim. I think often a lot of people associate Levi's with like really stiff denim and some of their styles are, but these are honestly just the softest things ever. They're so comfy. I could probably lounge around the house wearing this and like that's saying quite a lot from me um, because I hate lounging in jeans. Um, but yeah, they are incredibly comfy. I think they're like 100% cotton, so they really don't have any stretch in them. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping they're not gonna kind of go baggy or anything like that, but even if they do, I kind of don't mind because I did buy these to be a bit of a baggy style. So yeah, 
that's them. I think they're going to work so nice with so many things. I mean, I've already pulled them out loads, but also just wearing them like casually with like a white t-shirt and trainers and a Mac or something. Just like quite kind of like effortless, kind of kind of like your bride your boyfriend jeans kind of style. I don't know why I seem to be obsessed with that style of like borrowing my boyfriend's clothes. <laughs> but anyway, I am. Um, so next up, we'll chat about Arquette. So I don't buy loads from Arquette, to be honest. I um, did buy a puffer jacket from there last year. Their puffers are amazing. They're quite expensive, but they're all filled with down. Um, and they're also really kind of like um, sustainably made. And the down is like, I think it's recycled. Um, and it's literally the coziest thing in my, I've ever put on. It honestly feels like you're walking around a duvet. I'm gonna pop a picture on screen. And they did bring out um, another version of it this year. So I will link that down below. It's gorgeous. I honestly, I love it so, so much. So I don't shop with them loads, but it's just occasionally I see a piece that I really like and it kind of encourages me to do an order. And the piece that I saw was this. So you guys will know those kind of ribbed knit slip over kind of jumpers are everywhere. I wore one from H&M in my, um, I think it's my autumn winter capsule wardrobe, um, so I'll link that down below. Um, but I saw this from Arquette and I just thought it was quite different because it had like the roll neck and I also liked how the shoulders kind of dropped a little bit more. The other ones are quite like a kind of just straight kind of cut, but I thought this was a little bit different. So it has the roll neck detailing here and then as I said it kind of has like the half shoulder and then it goes down and then yeah it literally just goes down into kind of like a tunic um, it's a very thick rib again um, I bought this in a size medium and this is actually I think it might be like a hundred percent wool or something um, but I'm gonna wear this over like shirts and stuff so I wasn't too worried about the fabric um, but it feels very kind of heavy actually um, very good quality so I'll try that on and see what I think I don't know, I don't know if it's me, I love it in the kind of lighter colours but I don't know if the black will suit me but we'll definitely give it a go so you guys will have seen from the cutaway here what it looks like. But yeah, I think it was a little bit different and quite cool and if you're looking to get your hands on something like this then this one is great but I also know that H&M do a very, very similar one for like probably like a third of the price so I will link that one down below as well. Hopefully it hasn't sold out yet because H&M stuff keeps selling out so quick. Um, so yeah, that's that from Arquette. I also picked up this hoodie from Arquette um, just because I really wanted like a nice, really good quality plain black hoodie. Um, so it's kind of a long line one, this one. It probably goes to like my mid thighs, which I quite like because it just covers my bum and it's just really nice and cosy. Um, I mean, there's not really much to say. It's literally a plain black hoodie. It's got a big old hood on it. Um, and then, yeah, cuff sleeves. And the sleeves do actually have like a little hole in them if you wanted to kind of put your thumb through. Um, I got this in a size small and I definitely would recommend taking your usual size because this is really big, um, but it's so, so cozy. I absolutely love it. And I'm actually gonna see if they do any other colors because it's really, really good quality. And I just think it looks so nice paired under coats, like trench coats and stuff, leather jackets, denim jackets. There's just so many ways that you can whack a hoodie on um, just for a nice kind of casual look. I also think it looks really nice paired under this shirt jacket I have here. Um, so yeah, loads of ways to start them. So next up, let's chat about a brand called Forth and Reckless. So this is a Manchester based brand and it's part owned by Louisa Jane on Instagram. Um, and she reached out to me and asked if she could send me some pieces from the brand and I've been eyeing up so many pieces from there. So I was really, really happy when she reached out to me. So these are PR products. Everything else is paid for, but these, um, this jumper here is a PR product from them. Um, their brand is so cool. It's very like on trend styles. Um, but the quality and everything like that was like incredible. I was really, really impressed when it arrived. So um, I wanted to show this jumper and I also have this in black as well, but I figured, you know, you can just see it from the cream. Um, so this is an oversized big sweater and I actually had my eye on this because Louisa styled it up so well on her Instagram. Um, but this is, I've got this in a size 12, so I've sized up because I really wanted to wear this as a dress. Unfortunately, I think it's just a little bit short on me to wear as a dress. I think I can kind of get away with it, but Sam told me it looks like I've forgotten my trousers, so I don't know. <laughs> so I'm five foot five, so if you're shorter than me, I think it'll be fine. But yeah, if you're sort of my height and taller, then you probably wouldn't be able to get away with it either. But it is such a gorgeous material. It's very kind of like weighty, which I think makes it sit really nice. If I go in a little bit closer so you can see, this has been through the wash already. Um, so it's um, like just a standard kind of sweatshirt style. It's cream, it's got the round neck there, kind of the bigger sleeves and then goes into a cuff. And again, this is the kind of like 
stolen your boyfriend's jumper vibe. <laughs> like Sam could definitely fit into this, probably even be a little big on him. So um, I love it, I think it's really cool. I think it works so nicely under trench coats, um, under camel coats, anything really, leather jackets, loads of ways you can style this, super comfy. Looks really nice with just like leggings and stuff too, like say you're just like around the house or taking the dog for a walk or something like that, but also works really nicely with like leather leggings or black skinny jeans and big chunky biker boots. Um, but yeah, it's really gorgeous and I just wanted to give them a little shout out because it's like an independent brand and it's based up in Manchester and um, the quality of everything is amazing and they really do come out with some really, really cool pieces so they're definitely one to keep an eye on if you're looking for like something in particular. Uh, yeah, they're just really, really cool so definitely check them out. Do you know what? I'm just going to bring the camera in a little bit closer. I think that's better. I think I was a little bit far away then, sorry about that. Um, okay, so next up we can talk about Topshop. So I only have one piece from Topshop, which is quite rare for me because if you know, you know I love a bit of Topshop. Um, so again, jumper dress. Am I boring you? Because I'm boring myself. <laughs> this is just like the most boring thing ever, I know, I'm sorry, but I'm obsessed with jumper dresses. I don't know what it is, they're just so comfy, they look so chic, you don't have to worry about what to pair with it. Oh, they're just the best, I love them. Um, so. This is from Topshop, as I said, and it's basically just like a big kind of oversized style. Um, it's got the kind of cuff sleeves there with the roll detail, and it's got a roll neck, and then it just goes down into a dress. So this is quite long, I would say, actually. This kind of comes just above my knees, or maybe even just at my knees. So if you're taller than me, this would be brilliant. It's maybe a little bit long for me, but I think I'm going to keep it and just like work with it. I've got it in a size medium, so perhaps I could size down to a small. Um, or I could even belt this actually, I think it would look really cool belted. I just love these so much, I mean there's not really too much I can say about them. They are so so soft as well. It comes in black and I think it comes in a few other colours too. Perfect for work, again perfect for working from home. It's just great for like zoom calls, just see like that part of your body. But also so so nice just to wear out with like some big boots. I love this style with big chunky biker boots. Um, or even wear with like converse and a camel coat would look really nice. Just loads of ways to style these, dress them up, you know, as I said, belted with a pair of heels or some boot heels. I love them, I can't get enough of them at the moment, so yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, so next up, moving on to Zara, which I know is like your guys' favourite, so I probably should have done that first. Um, I did recently do a big Zara haul on my channel, so I haven't got loads to show you. Just a few little bits that I kind of picked up um, when I went into store the other day. So, uh, let's start with, let's start with this. So... I haven't worn this yet, as you can tell from the label, but I am obsessed with blazers, you guys will know that, um, and I think I actually have a bit of an addiction where I can't stop buying them. Um, but I saw this and I just loved how big and oversized it is. Honestly, <laughs> it's all I talk about, but um, it's a beautiful colour as well, it's kind of like a khaki colour, it's not really showing up that well on camera actually. There we go, maybe that's a little bit better. Um, but it has the lapels, obviously. I got this in a size medium and it was £59.99. Um, I probably could have gone for a small, actually, because it is quite big. It's got little pads on the shoulders, so it keeps that kind of structured look. It has two tall shell buttons, pockets there, and a little vent at the back to help with the movement. Um, I love it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I think this looks so, so cool with like black knits and skinny jeans and boots. I also think it would work really well with a hoodie underneath just to make it like look that little bit more casual. Um, you could wear it with like <laughs> you could wear it with like cream knits and stuff. There's so many ways you can wear them. Mostly I'll just pair them with like big black chunky jumpers and boots and um, kind of wear this as my coat because it is quite thick. Um, I just love it. Sam told me I didn't need it, but I really wanted it. <laughs> so yeah, that's that one. So next up from Zara, I also picked up a little kind of tracksuit, which is definitely branching out from my normal kind of creams and blacks and sort of beiges and stuff. But I saw this and I just thought it looked so, so cute. So um, it's a blue tracksuit and it says Venice, Los Angeles on there, CA90291. <laughs> and it's like a little cropped hoodie and it has like elasticated at the bottom there. And then it obviously has the matching joggers. So I'll pull them out now for you. 
And you know what? I love wearing um, loungewear like this, but I love wearing matching ones because I just think you just look a little bit more put together then if you're wearing a matching set, like a little cohort. And I think you can definitely go out in them without anyone like, looking at you funny. Um, I think they look so, so nice paired with coats, like trenches, camel coats, leather jackets, denim jackets, those kind of outfits. Um, so yeah, these are the bottoms. And again, they say the Venice Los Angeles thing here. Um, got them in both in a size medium. The bottom, bottoms were 19 99 and the top was 25 99 so it's not too bad. Like, it's just great for wearing around the house, wearing, you know, if you work from home, but also great for going and, like, running errands in. And also, like, just nice to wear it maybe for, like, a day out of shopping or something. Just be nice and, like, comfy. I'd pair this with a pair of cream Converse um, or just some white trainers. And then, yeah, I'd probably wear it with a trench coat uh, just to make it look a little bit more kind of put together. But as I said, I do think getting a kind of matching set does really help that. I'm pretty sure this also came in grey. But I think it said like Hollywood or something on the grey one or Beverly Hills or something. I can't remember. But I got the blue because I just thought, do you know what? I don't actually own any trackies in this colour. Whereas I have quite a lot of grey trackies and just thought it was a little bit different. And yeah, really like it. Really, really soft as well. Very cosy. I kind of want to put that on like right now. <laughs> okay, and lastly from Zara, we have this long shirt jacket. So I, um, I don't know what it was about this. I was just really drawn to this in the store. I saw it and it was on the, I think it was on the rail that was like last chance to buy rail potentially. And it was on its own and I just saw it and I was like, that is just really cool, I love it. I don't know what it is, I like about it because it's quite different for me, but um, it has this like gorgeous kind of check detailing and it's in this kind of like a brushed wool feel. So it has obviously the greens, the blues, the purples, the whites. And I think I just loved how kind of slouchy this was and how you can kind of chuck it on with an all black outfit and it looks really put together because it's quite sort of like a heavily kind of printed jacket. So I got this in a size large because I really wanted it to be kind of as slouchy as possible um, and kind of go down as long as possible. I've got a picture of me wearing this which I'll pop on the screen here. But I just thought it was a little bit fun, a little bit different to what I kind of, you know, would normally style. And yeah, really cosy as well, very, very comfy. Great for those days that aren't super, super cold and you just wanna wear this um, and maybe pair it with like a black hoodie underneath or a black jumper. Sorry, I got interrupted by a phone call then, but um, I can't even remember what I was saying, but basically I love it, I think it's really cool. You can get loads of different styles of these. H&M do some really cool ones, like if this colorway is not for you. Yeah, H&M do some good ones, I think Zara do some other colorways too. Um, normally I would go for a more neutral kind of colorway, but just something about this I just loved and um, yeah, I think when you feel like that about a piece of clothing then it means something. So <laughs> that is the last piece I got from Zara. I think it was quite expensive. That was about £70 I think. Um, so I was kind of umming and ahhing for a while about it, but I like it so much. I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this year and um, yeah, I just thought it was a really, really nice piece. So lastly on the clothes front, I picked up this leather trench coat. So I own a lot of trench coats, however, I don't own a leather one. <laughs> and um, this is from H&M. Unfortunately, I think this is sold out now, but loads of stores are doing them. So Zara does one, Fourth and Reckless does a really cool one, which I think is really reasonably priced as well. Um, but I thought I'd show you it, just because I think it's really cool, a little bit different, and I've been a little bit obsessed with it, to be honest. So I got this in a size small, I can't remember the exact amount, but I think it was around the sort of 70, 80 pound mark. Um, I just love it. I just think it's so, so cool. And I'm like imagining me kind of in New York wearing this, but obviously I won't be going to New York, but I just imagine this looks so cool with like a beanie, big chunky boots, some skinny black jeans and this. Um, I don't know, I love it. I don't know what else to say about it really. I'll pop a picture on screen of me wearing it here. Um, I paired it with like a big jumper dress, which I think looks nice. And yeah, it's very oversized. So if you're looking for one kind of second hand or anything like that isn't online, so I don't think it's online anymore. I would say keep a true size or even size down. I could have probably got away with an extra small, um, but it's really, really well made. It's got all the kind of standard trench coat detailing, um, the double breasted, the buttons, the cuff sleeves and everything. And it also obviously has the strap in the middle that you can tie. But yeah, I love it. I just want to show you guys it because I think it's such a cool piece. It kind of goes down again to sort of mid calf length. And I just felt cool when I was wearing it. Like I felt like really like fashionable. <laughs> So yeah, love that one. But as I said, I think it is sold out. But I will link as many as I can down below because I think it's a really kind of cool trend for this autumn winter. And although I try not to buy too much into trends, I love a trench coat. I think they're very, very classic. So I actually don't think that's going to go out of style. Um, so yeah, love that. 
Okay, so now moving on to like shoes and accessories and stuff. So you guys know I am obsessed with my Zara boots that are kind of like mid-calf length. I wear them all the time. Like I'll pop some pictures on screen of me wearing them. I absolutely adore them. I bought them about two years ago now. Anyway, I was in Zara the other day and I saw these babies. <laughs> so Zara have kind of been going on the whole kind of welly boot trend at the moment they do some really cool green ones that i really did want but they sold out quite quickly um so when i saw these i thought they were just a little bit different and as i said i love the chunky boot trend and i love that these are a little bit higher i think again these will look so nice with my jumper dress obsession um but also will look lovely with black jeans and yeah i don't know i just thought they were quite cool um they have a really chunky sole i've not worn these out yet by the way so it's fine um but yeah they've got a really chunky sole and then they go up to kind of just below my knee um and they were 69.99 I just thought they were really cool. I know these are probably quite a trend led piece, but then I did think that about the big black chunky ones that I always wear and I've had them for two years now and I actually don't plan on stopping wearing them. So I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, love these. I think they're really, really, really cool. How many times do I want to say cool? Um, <laughs> but I will try and link these down below and also any other kind of similar styles too. Um, I'm sure I could find them a little bit cheaper somewhere, maybe. Um, but yeah, just thought they were a little bit different. Okay, so next up I want to talk about sunglasses. So it's maybe a little bit of a weird time of year to buy sunglasses, but I wear sunglasses all year round. Um, as you guys will know if you follow me on Instagram, I'm obsessed with my little kind of Ray-Ban rounds. I wear them in every single outfit picture. <laughs> but I really wanted to try and like branch out of wearing them and just try a different style. And I really love the kind of cat eye style, but I always think that all the ones I've tried have been a little bit too kind of like angular for me. Um, and I just want something a little bit softer, but still kind of going on that style. So anyway, I found these from Ganny, um, and I love the brand Ganny. They do some such cool pieces. So if I try them on for you, oh, you're gonna see the ring light in the reflection, sorry. But I just thought they were really, really cool and like a little bit kind of different. Um, I like the tortoiseshell detail and yeah, I just wanted to kind of branch out and um, find some slightly different sunglasses. Um, and yeah, I love these. They feel really, really good and like sturdy and well made. They also come in black, I believe. Um, these were about 180. Um, they say Ganny on the side there. And you also get this cute little case as well, which I think is really, really nice. So yeah, just thought I would uh, mention those for any of you who are like me and really like the cat eye trend, but kind of feel like some of them are a little bit too kind of harsh. Um, these are a much kind of softer alternative, especially in the tortoise shell as well. Okay, so lastly, ignore the absolutely battered box, but <laughs> I picked up some boots from Chloe, and it's actually quite unlike me to buy shoes um, from designer brands. I tend to just stick for high street, but I saw these on somebody's Instagram, and I just thought they were so cool, and I love boots, absolutely love boots. Like They're one of my favourite kind of style of shoes. And yeah, I saw these on someone's Instagram, I thought they were so cool. And then I was in Selfridges and I saw them there and I was like, oh my God, I love them. Anyway, I asked the shop assistant about them and she said, this is our very last size threes and um, they are quite hard to get hold of. So I was obviously sold from that point. Um, they're going to be a love hate, I'm not going to lie. They are, but hopefully you guys love. So I'm going to pop this box down. Okay, so this is the shoe here. So... They are a really cool kind of, again, welly boot style shoe. So they have the kind of rubbery effect. Um, big chunky zip here, and then they go down into a bit of a heel and a big kind of jagged sole. And I love that detail, I think it's so cool. Um, and they say Chloe just here, and they also say Chloe here. Um, they are probably a little bit trend led, but I honestly just love them. I literally fell in love. They look so nice with a pair of black skinny jeans. They're really like elongating, uh, but they also look really nice with like dresses and stuff. Um, I also think I'll wear these in the summer. I think these will look gorgeous with some white dresses and like a denim jacket or a leather jacket. They have a square toe, which I love, love a square toe. And yeah, I love them. They're not gonna be to everyone's taste. So these are around the 300 pound mark. So for designer shoes, that's not too bad. Like a lot of kind of designer boots are around like 600, 700 pounds. So I didn't think, think this was too bad. Um, and they're actually so comfortable. So I was a bit worried about how comfy they'd be because they do look quite stiff, but they're really, really comfy. I think the big chunky heel helps that. Um, and yeah, they're really, really comfy. The only thing that's slightly not comfy 
is the zip there did rub me a little bit but i just need to pull my sock up basically um but i love them i know not everybody's gonna feel that way but i think they're really cool a little bit different um and yeah i just think they make outfits look really chic um especially when you're wearing kind of like big coats and stuff um yeah i just love them i think they're cool all right <laughs> So guys, that is the end of my what's new in my wardrobe video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And as I said, all of the links and everything like that will be in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.